All right, so hi everyone. Still spiced out on the line, and if I'm not mistaken, this is tutorial 104 on this new wiring mechanism uh, provided by Billcraft and gates and, 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 and circuitries and everything. Once again, this adds up on the existing Billcraft. You don't need it, but it might be useful. Uh, in this 104 tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, wires. Uh, let's get started. So, as usual, uh, I'm going to need pipes and gates. Let's start with um, gold gates and I'll show quickly diamond gates as well. Uh, by the way, there is all of these unnamed gates here which are not doing anything uh, for the moment. This seems to be a too many item glitch, you can just ignore them. I'm going to use some pipe wire as well and obviously some redstone to understand the whole thing. Maybe a lever too. Where's my lever? Here we go. Okay, so first of all let's place some pipes. Okay, maybe just uh, an exit here. So with this new version of Billcraft it's going to be possible to apply wire directly on gates. What's important to understand straight out is that this is not redstone wire. It is possible to carry signal coming from redstone or sending signal to redstone with uh, using gates as conversions but that is not uh, by default. And by default it is totally separate behavior. Anyway, to add um, wire on pipes I just need pipes, like any kind of pipes, just as uh, for gates. I just right click on it like so and as you can see I can wire any pipe this way okay so now I've just said that uh, this pipe they do not connect automatically to uh, redstone actually their main purpose is to interact with gates. Not all the gates can interact with with, with wire. I uh, remember that we saw um, single gates as well as iron gates. These ones are not able to interact with um, pipe wire. However, starting um, golden gate, it is going to be possible to interact with wire. So let's add an or golden gate here. Actually, yeah, actually, here is good. Okay. And now, if I look at the events that are available here, I have this new thing, which is the red pipe signal is on and the red pipe signal is off. And you can see that now there is nothing running on this wire, so the signal is quote unquote off which is why this is activated. Uh, I can still detect if the pipe is empty, if items are traversing through the pipe. Now, obviously, uh, knowing the state of the pipe is uh, of the wire isn't enough. I'm going to need to be able to interact with it. So if I go to the output part, um, let's place an event here, the pipe is empty. If I go to the output part, I'm going to be able to select a signal pipe to be sent reacting to an event. Uh, here, for example, you saw that I selected the pipe is empty and now if the pipe is empty then I'm sending a red pipe signal. And you can see that the pipe, is, this wire is looks all activated. Uh, if I want to convert some redstone signal into wire signal, I need to place a redstone input next to the 
um, next to the gate and then I'm going to say here if there is redstone signal then send the red pipe signal so right here is deactivated but if I click on it it gets activated and deactivated again and there is probably a small glitch here at the activation phase once again this buildcraft version is alpha there is going to be bugs a couple have been reported already but um, it's good enough to try things out uh, now uh, if I want to convert back this redstone signal which have been into the wire uh, back into redstone uh, I can use a gate uh, let's place another golden gate here for instance and get some redstone signal out of it and then say if there is red pipe signal activated I want to send a redstone signal and now if I activate this again you can see that this redstone signal got activated so this is a very convenient way to carry signal over the pipe network uh, usually it's really cumbersome to have to wire everything in redstone next to your engines next to your quarries next to uh, the pumps or whatever now thanks to this wire system it's going to be very natural and easy to carry information away and around. Okay, so that's the first thing and obviously I can use that to combine uh, various things like here uh, if I place um, some obsidian pipe again where is my obsidian pipe here to send some items and I can say here that I want to activate um, signal if any item is traversing and if there is redstone signal so I'm going to add the output here right pipe signal and as you will see nothing gets activated here because only half of it is activated but if I switch the lever on I'm activating the two conditions to send the signal. Um, one more piece of information about this uh, in terms of combinations of, of gates uh, each signal in the gate is computed separately that is to say there is one computation for the red pipe signal and one separate computation for the redstone signal. For instance here I'm going to say um, send the redstone signal if the pipe is empty for instance. Okay, So if I wire this guy you can see that and if I remove this thing to be sure that it works the way I want it to you can see that this redstone signal got activated even if the first two parts of the conditions are not met. Um, once again the reason for that is that all every signal is computed separately so I'm making one computation for the red pipe signal which says I want redstone signal and traversing item to activate it and I've got a second computation part here which says I want to send the redstone signal if the pipe is empty. Okay, let's carry on. Um, as you may have seen already, I got from too many ATM, ATEMs four different kinds of pipe wiring. And I've only used one right now which is the uh, red wire. I can use a second one along with this golden pipe, this golden gate, sorry, which is the blue wiring. So as you can see, I can place it along the side 
of the red one very easily and now if I click on this thing let's get rid of all of this I have not only um, red signal events that I can capture but blue signals as well um, see is the blue signal on is it off etc uh, etc et so using these things can help implementing interesting stuff uh, let's create a condition here and it's almost night already I'm going to say here that I want to send a signal if items are coming from these two directions so let me redo the whole thing and maybe slip while I'm at it uh, so we said that bed was an item here we go okay okay so let's create two pipe systems um, yep with the gate here which is going to be let's say a end gate and to wire some red pipe signal here and wire some blue there and send a redstone signal over here and then I'm going to say if there is an item here or there then just send a signal similar here and on this guy in the middle I'm going to say if I get both the red pipe signal and the blue pipe signal then send the redstone signal and let's carry on with it add a couple of blocks in there yep. okay and we activated the first one we activated the second one and boom the end gates detected the fact that items are coming from both direction and as soon as we exited this thing here uh, we got um, we cancelled the, the connection so that's one example of um, how to use this thing there are many other ways to combine these gates um, I don't want to show everything in this tutorial I like I will likely to have more complex setting um, later on the last thing that I wanted to show before uh, finishing is the other two kinds of wire so there is uh, so there, there was we said the red wire the blue wires which are the only one that can interact with these golden gates then if you have diamond gates um, like here uh, first of all there are more slots uh, it's not four it's eight slots that can be combined to make complex conditions and not only that but if there is red um, blue and green sorry and yellow wires then these diamond gates will be able to interact with them um, as well 
which is not the case for the golden ones. We can only interact with blue or red. Okay, so we are done for this tutorial on wiring. We're reaching the end of this um, of these explanations. There is one last part that I did not cover yet, which is how to craft these things. Uh, as you will see, if you're playing legit, the idea is that these things are expensive and complicated to craft, and you would only have access to them at a pretty advanced uh, stage of the game. But let's leave that for the next tutorial, which is going to be 105, if I'm keeping track correctly here. For now, thanks a lot for having watched the video. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.